Hello there and welcome to the new Tableau dashboard tutorial where I will be showing you the five examples of account receivable dashboards that you can apply in your own work if you are interested. So I really like these dashboard what I saw you know five different scenarios as to what are the different design metrics and all of that that you can take inspiration from you know by all by these dashboard which is already been created by uh, and published on the Tableau public, right? And uh, the link for these dashboard is present also in the description so that you can easily come here and do the uh, further interactivity or, you know, understand it as, as part of you are moving in creating a dashboard. So with that, just a quick information before I start. Well, uh, first thing first is the last two dashboard which I have is pretty interesting from a design perspective. So keeping the best for last. And second is, uh, you know, if you want to create or if you want to learn how to create such dashboard with a clean layout, like this, this is a clean layout, right? How to do that, how to do the all these settings, KPIs and, uh, you know, bringing everything together, then you can join my Tableau online training, which I provide for 10 dashboards. That way you will be seeing the 10 different industry dashboards. Like for example, this is account receivable dashboard. Similarly, there will be like finance dashboard, the dashboard that you may want to create for executives. Uh, and for that, uh, my email is present here. You can email me and I'll show you the complete details. With that, uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll first start with this dashboard, which is an account receivable dashboard as uh, it is created by Jan Chair Nayak, right? So the link is present in description. Like I said, you can come over here and interact. It shows overall three high level KPIs, like what is the total amount, account receivable amount, average delay to settle, important when whenever you are having the account receivable matrix and the aging, right? So all aging groups, it's like the three aging group is been what's been created or analyzed for this company. And clearly between zero to 15 days maximum um, you know, percentage of uh, invoices are present. So that is where you, you can see and down below you can see maybe a favorable metric that even 1% or less is present in the 31 to 60 days, right? So something to continue to monitor on a, let's say weekly basis or a daily basis, like how we are moving, uh, AR and then some, another couple of other high level, uh, metrics like percentage of AR. Uh, not paid on time and percentage of disputed account, right? And the comparison, like what, what is the 2012, what is 2013, same in this case, just to show whether we are improving or declining, right? Um, something at a high level executive may want to know. And generally in my training, I show that uh, when you are having this metric like 2012 versus 2013, in my training, I show that you can dynamically change this period, like you want to compare the quarter, the year, the last six months, so on and so forth. Just, you know, in case we, we may want to give a filter, like let's say like over here, that will enable a lot of dynamic feature. Then AR by customer, who are these customers, like uh, sorted by the total invoice amount, right, and uh, percentage of disputed amount by customer. Uh, a critical metric which executive may know and uh, AR by country if you have a presence in multiple countries then this is the case right so something uh, an interesting graph the only thing is probably this graph looks fine but this one I still uh, may want to change into something uh, much better and more intuitive but it does the work because of this clean layout and high level key metrics which uh, executive may want to track on a daily weekly basis with that, let's move on to our second example, which is an example by Vrutika and account receivable aging analysis. So this is again a clean layout. What I really like, you know, you have the filters at the top, which was not present in the first dashboard. So you can see by country, company, aging and invoice. These are the filters. Then KPIs like what is the total receivable, overdue and percentage, paid versus open, right? And outstanding versus due. And then over here you have the aging buckets, right, which clearly indicate that a lot of invoices are here. And uh, if it is expected or if it is something they may want to action upon is something uh, up to the management. Um, and then you have the AR details like who's, 
what is the shape to country, company, invoice, and AR aging. Then down below, uh, sorting by country from where mostly the invoices are still pending. So country, customer, and what is that invoice, right? So that is something which is uh, a second dashboard. Let's move on to a third one, which is again by uh, I think Tableau own uh, Tableau Accelerator. I think some professionals inside the Tableau itself. So over here, let me come on to the home page. And this is what account receivable uh, section is. So you have, let's say, uh, for Salesforce as a company, right? And just a high level summary, a key executive uh, summary as to how it looks like. And then uh, I want to balance of uh, access and reduce balance of receivable due collect payment deep dive so this is based on the role what do you really want to do and then if you click on that it will take you to the respective dashboard tab right so for example executive summary over here so you have executive summary clearly talks about the different types of questions like what is the total outstanding amount that we need to collect from that or what are the outstanding invoices are we efficient in collecting payment and then the related metrics right so pretty interesting scenarios and very advanced scenarios right not not like the one which you would see generally in the dashboard but advanced scenarios and down below total outstanding and overdue some other key metrics to indicate the critical parameters that business needs to capture as an executive summary uh, then you have two more different tabs for data i think uh, this is customer deep dive right so a lot of good information about uh, customers so key information about customer that you may want to go deep dive in and finally it's about the, the outstanding invoices as to what are what does outstanding invoice what does each outstanding invoice is when does sorry when does each outstanding invoice is true so this is something which is being captured over here right with the help of the metrics within a table as you can see right so this is this is a uh, you know view that one can capture uh, then i'll move on to the next uh, one the second last one so we are very clean layout and standard sort of a layout right by the visual bi so this is account receivable and cash flow analytics so this is you have the summary customer view overview analysis doubtful that and aging that so here they have created the different basically tabs and then key metric about account receivable by age in days by company by currency who are these top 10 customer for account receivable and top 10 sales rep right and you can go into individual customer tab right and here a good thing is they have given a definition the customer view showcases cash flow by customer across a very very important and you can take a tip from here that if you have tabs like this you give a small summary so that user can really get an idea as to what this tab is all about and then you can look at rest of the other tabs which is having a similar sort of a layout and give you a quite interesting feature so in my training i cover not this but a different type different dashboard where i think we look at these different apps as to how you can configure capture and uh, show the information and sneak it um, and then finally this dashboard which i believe is also sort of a clean layout by ph data i think it is a data analytics company i have seen their website and uh, they are expert into tableau uh, or they have experts in their company for Tableau, for um, I think Alteryx and a couple of more technologies. So their dashboard is also about the account receivable, what is the account receivable, received, remaining, so on and so forth, and who are these total debtors, and overdue invoice past due. Right, so showcasing invoice year to date. So if you click it over here, right, this basically indicates, so this does not do anything, I was over here, let me just click it over here. So this is really, you know, an interesting feature that I also cover in my training as to how you can you can do this like year to date, month to date, right? Or custom, for custom date, you can specify over here, right? What dates you want. Then you have a tab or you have the button for invoice tracker, which will take you to the invoice tracker. 
and quite uh, quite an interactive table right so pass to not cleared you have the email contact click to email customer 0668 about invoice right very interesting and nice feature that uh, enable a call to action that if you want to click on this you don't have to do anything it will do the most of the work for you and your work will be done so with that you can come back to the home page so these are the five examples I wanted to show you that you can take with you using the link which is present in the description and create your own account receivable dashboard by taking inspiration from these examples. With that, thank you so much for watching and I'll meet you in the next video with a new topic.